everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you guys are here if this is your first time i want to welcome you to my channel i hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos if you do click that subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it that'll give you notifications when i upload new videos and welcome back to all my returning friends i'm so glad you guys are here it's been a few weeks i'm gonna be kind of hit or miss here for a while guys i'm still i'll be good one day next day i'll be kind of down in the dumps i don't know i just don't feel like doing anything you know but I have to run up to Hobby Lobby to pick up some bells to finish a little crochet project that I'm working on so I can get that out in the mail hopefully this weekend. Um, trying to find a book that I can put in Tucker's present to get that off to him in the mail and a few little goodies to put in a little purse that I made for my friend Tina's daughter Riley that I can get shipped off to her. So I have lots of things to get mailed. Let me back out of my driveway here. I've already been to the grocery store, got all that taken care of. Um, my three-tiered tray that I've been wanting to make for a while now, and I totally forgot to film the before with all what I'm using. I'm using the Dollar Tree pie pan, or pie, yeah pie pan, the cake pan, and the pizza pan. And I have three candlestick holders. I think I'm only going to be using two. I haven't decided. I don't know. I think just two is what I'm going to use. Um, but I got those and I spray painted them already. I started doing that this morning and the fumes in the house are giving me a headache so I have to leave the house. <clears throat> I need to go downstairs and crack a window I think if I can reach it. And get the fumes out but I spray painted that so maybe once I get they're done and I'm ready to put them together then I'll just kind of do it how I'm gluing them all together and all that fun stuff I still haven't decided where I want to put it and then the paint that I chose I did modern white thinking it's going to be more of a white white it's more of a yellow white and I don't know if I like it so I may get just some regular white spray paint and just spray paint them again. Maybe I'll have my husband do it. <clears throat> he can do a much better job spray painting than what I can. Um, and then get that put together. I think I'm going to move that into where my computer is for work. Um, the youngest moved back home. He had some issues going on with his um, co-worker, not co-worker, his roommate, and we was just kind of over it. So he's back home for a while, um, get caught back up on things. So I had to condense my office again back into my craft room. <clears throat> so I kind of moved some things around and I'm doing a clean purge as I'm doing this to get rid of a lot of stuff. And I've donated three bags of stuff. I've trashed quite a bit. Um, I'm probably gonna do some rearranging in there, <clears throat> moving my white desk that I normally sit at when I do any crafting or if I'm doing any videos. I'm gonna move that over in front of the window, I think, and then move the table that I have in there for my computer over where the tape the desk was I'm just gonna do a little flip-flop because the way I have it now my computer is in the different lane to what I have I guess we'll turn this way um, it's set up flip-flopped and I don't like that I guess we're gonna turn um, so it's flip-flop on me and it's hard to get my uh, what do I want to say it's it's different from how I had it set up in my office so everything is discombobulated and I, I don't like it I like things the way they normally are if that makes any sense so I don't know but I was thinking about putting that tray in there in the corner if I keep it the way I have it now I don't know if I put it in the corner and then I can kind of put all the stuff that used to be on my desk I can do it on that tiered tray I don't know um, I am going to do a little walkthrough of how I have things decorated 
this year for Christmas. So those will be inserted in here. And then that's about it. Not a whole lot of stuff going on because there's just not a whole lot of stuff we can go do. So I've just been hanging out at home, cross-stitching, crocheting, binge-watching. Um, Virgin River 2 came out and I've already watched the season 3 of that. And I am almost done with Outlander. I'm late to the party on that. Um, my girlfriend told me about it a while ago. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's just not really in what I'm into. She said, oh, you gotta watch, you gotta watch it. So I finally started watching it and it's really, really good, really, really good. I think I have, I'm on the last, last episode of season three and then we have to wait for the other seasons to come out on Netflix because this is on Stars, I think is what it's on. And we don't get Stars with our cable, so. I think it's everything that I've binge watched. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Virgin River, Outlander, because I've been obsessed with Outlander, getting caught up on that. Um, haven't been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, um, partly because I've been binge watching Netflix shows. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything that's going on here. I am going to hop off here because I need to get onto the highway so I can head up to the Hobby Lobby and then get back home. So I will insert my clips of all my Christmas stuff here. All right, so there is my hutch, my village. The blue lights, when it's darker, it makes everything have a blue glow in there. I love it. And then my shelf here with all my little red trucks, my little snow globe, the tray. Those right there are salt and pepper shakers. And then my picture in the back that I made, was it last year, the year before? Uh, Dollar Tree truck and just mount, mounted it on scrapbook paper and framed it. Another little red truck. And then just some Christmas trees, which I need to replace the batteries on those and the snowman that needs some batteries in there. But, so I just leave that there. And then up top, of course, my Boston that always stays there, my cookie jar, and my Santa snowman jar, another snowman, and Santa, and then that snowman, I need to get batteries on that one too, he lights up. But that is my hutch. I love it. And then my table with just my placemats, napkins, and then my dough bowl. I have just some pine cones, a little pick, and then cross-stitch pillows that I made, and then just, or cross-stitch patterns that I just turned into pillows. So the back of this one is just some green plaid. And then on this one, I think there's green plaid on it too. Yeah, green plaid. And then this one I love. Now it's the, let us know, it's Santa 2018, I think, but the back fabric, oh my gosh, you guys, I absolutely love this fabric. I got this at Joann's, so just the Woodland Creatures on there. I love that. And once I make a few more cross-stitch Christmas ones, I haven't cross-stitched a lot of Christmas ones yet. I'll be putting them in there with that too, just kind of mix them in with the... Um, the pine cones. And then here. <clears throat> These I normally, before we had Lisi, would go in front of my um, entertainment center. My Rudolph and Clarice, and then my monkey snowman. These are all from Build-A-Bear. And these two talk to each other. If I had my tripod, I would be able to set this up. But he'll say, hi, I'm Rudolph. Hi, I'm Clarice. And I think she says, I think you're kind of cute. And he says, she thinks I'm cute or something like that. Anyways, it's really, really cute. Maybe later if I get my tripod set up, I'll, I'll play with them. But those there, I have to put them up here because Lisey thinks that they're her toys and she is not touching them. This is the first year that I've pulled these out and I don't know how long, but I love them. And this is where our stockings are this year. I got this uh, Merry Christmas stand from LTD. 
And then my stockings that I crocheted, of course, ours aren't laying flat. So Lisey's didn't have a hook. They, these came with five hooks. I have to get one more hook. So I just slipped hers on the end. And then John's, mine, Christopher's, Trent's, and then Ivy's. But that is where our Christmas stockings will go this year. And then over here, I just have our little mugs and plates um, from the Dollar Tree. And then my fun little snowman that flickers all different colors in there. And then my glass fun things that I made last year, the year before, I forget. So just put my Santa in there with the snow and the snowman and the tree and then just the little little people into a snowman. But that is that one. And then over on this little table, I just have a wagon it says welcome on it. And then a picture of the boys and Santa from oh my gosh, years, years ago, Trent was probably two in that picture. So Christopher was nine. Maybe Christopher Trent wasn't even two. I don't know. He was little. And then that is a Dollar Tree bag that I just cut out and framed because it's got a Boston in it. And then I need to get some Christmas flowers to put in there. And then my Christmas tree, it's all in purple. Let's see if I can go back where you guys can see in its entirety there. And this is a new tree this year, so it is smaller and skinnier and I love it. I paid $50 for it at Meyer. Absolutely love it, and it was so easy to put together. I just have all my all my purple and silver ornaments, and then of course my angel at the top. And then we go over here, and we have my gnomes on my hutch. So there's a pot holder that fell down there. These two, I got. Where did I get those two? I got those ones at. Um, Ace Hardware, got those in there. And then I crocheted this purple one there. And then that one next to it is from um, Ace Hardware as well. And then the plate I got from LTD. And then those are um, salt and pepper shakers from LTD as well, the pot holder from Dollar Tree. And then my cross stitch gnome for the holidays or gnome for Christmas, gnome for Christmas. And I just turned it into a pillow and it's just got the little red and white snowflakes. Absolutely love that. And then up top, oh, and then my um, home sweet home, home sweet gnome. That is from Marshalls. And I was debating whether or not I was gonna cross stitch these in shades of purple until I saw this. And I'm like, nope, gonna do that because it'll go together there. And then the other gnome that I found at Marshall's as well is this pink one. So I may rearrange to put them all together, but I just have all my gnomes up here. I made these ones last year. That is a cookie jar from LTD. And then that one, TJ Maxx or Marshall's, I forget where I got that one from, but just all my fun little gnomes. So that's my gnome, gnome hutch. And that is my Christmas this year. And that is all my Christmas here at the house. So I am going to head off, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, a great weekend. And until I see you next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys.